Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Mobile Weekly slash Mobile Q&A. We go over all the latest news that happened during the week of mobile and answer your questions live. If you have a question you want to ask, just ask it in the comment section down below and I will answer it before the end of the show. Hey guys, been a developing week. Uh, went to Anime Expo the other day. Uh, did all this stuff. Um, the smart home video has been recorded um at least the first half of it and then i still have to record the one from my channel so lots of fun happening this week uh but yeah so lots of cool stuff happening right now uh just setting it all up still setting up this studio and what's behind me as you can tell uh not fully there yet but getting there and hopefully i will have everything all set up um basically today is when I start, plan to start filming. So yeah, lots of videos coming out. First up is gonna be a projector. Then we have a PlayStation uh, neck uh, surround sound system. And then we have a uh, TCL smartphone. And then we have some Sure headphones. So all of those are coming within the week. Uh, so yeah, lots of content is going to be coming uh, shortly. So yeah, should be having five videos before next Sunday. So that'll be really cool to get back in the groove as I have set up everything. Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, wow, it was a lot for sure. All right, now let's get to the news again. If you have any questions you want to ask, just ask in the comment section down below. But on the meantime, we will start on the news. So the first bit of news that is coming today is going to be about the Galaxy S22 Ultra sales. So overall, the S22 Ultra has sold a lot better than pretty much any Note ever has, uh, which, you know, I still say it should have been called a Note. I still, even with this new information, still think it should have been called a Note. Um, but it basically tells you that if you miss the Note, Sales will happen. Uh, so the last big sales from the Note was the Note 8. Uh, that was the last king of the Notes uh, that did sell 10 million devices um, overall throughout its time. And if you remember, that was after the Note 7, which basically blew up in Samsung's face. Yeah, I'll say it. Um, and so basically, you know, those had to be recalled. And we had a year... Uh, in most countries uh, without a note. Uh, yes, some countries got the note FE, uh, but at the end of the day, people just, you know, wanted the new note. So when the note eight came out, it sold 10 million units. The S22 Ultra in a shorter time span, mind you, the S22 Ultra started sales this year. Um, so, you know, since February we're talking about has actually sold 11 million. So it has far outsold any note um, that has ever been. And keep in mind that the notes had gone down in sales with the introduction of the original Ultras, right? With the introduction of the S10, um, or sorry, the I think it was the Note, the Note had a plus with the S series. And then the Ultra came after that, the year after that. And there was two Ultras and this was the third Ultra, I believe. Um, so yeah, but you figure the Note 20, the Note 10, Note 9, none of them sold as much as the Note 8 did. And sure enough, um, as we didn't have a Note for over a year and a half, um, the S22 Ultra, we missed it. A lot of people did. And yep, the S22 Ultra broke the record for Notes. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. I am very curious. I personally do love having an S Pen again. It's just, it's it's come in handy for me so many times uh, throughout the last few months. And it's one of the reasons why, as of right now, I do not see myself going back to the Fold. I mean, we'll see when the Fold is announced. But I will, of course, review the Fold, but I do not know if I'm going to go back to it entirely. So yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Then we have Apple, and it does look like Apple is going to officially change to USB Type-C. Now, we knew this was kind of inevitable after the EU ruling, and basically, it's going to happen. Um, so, Apple is basically doing this in a uh, segmented process. 
So first up is the AirPod 2s, uh, sorry, AirPod Pro 2s. Those will launch at the end of this year, and those are going to be type C, the first AirPods with type C. Then we are going to follow that with the iPod, uh, or sorry, iPod, iPad. Uh, the iPad, uh, the last remaining normal iPad is the only one that doesn't have type C, if I remember correctly. Uh, now, so yes, that will also uh, join the Type C club, and then finally, the iPhone 15 will be the last one to join the Type C crew. So we will finally have all Apple Type C. No more Lightning connector. No more annoying uh, people asking me, "Oh, do you have an iPhone charger?" And me telling, "No, no, I don't." Uh, so yeah, I just I, I'm so happy with this. I'm so happy that Type C will just dominate and it will be the only one out there uh, for me that's just awesome that I, I i cannot wait for that let me know what you guys think are you guys happy that we will have one charger to rule them all now i know i am let me know what you guys think all right uh speaking of apple they are going to of course release other products this september and namely the apple watch series 8 and although it was missing last year, as so speculated, it is expected to again have a flat design. We'll see if it actually happens this time around. But the big hardware feature that it looks like it will have is telling your temperature. Now, basically, smartwatches can't tell temperature by themselves. Uh, they have to rely on an algorithm of all the different sensors they have and then basically approximate your exact temperature. Um, and in this case, they are planning on doing that. Um, you know, the, the main thing I can say is that it's looking like that, you know, Samsung and Apple are going to bring that feature. I don't know how accurate it will be. I mean, we still have smartwatches that struggle to tell the step counts. Uh, so I always worry about the new features being added to the watches because are they accurate enough for us to actually rely on them? That's always my worry with, uh, new features coming to smartwatches, but let me know what you guys think. Are you interested in actually seeing you know uh being able to check your temperature on your smartwatch let me know what you guys think i don't think it'll be too much of a thing um the person who wrote this article is speculating that it'll be for fertility planning um so that'll be a kind of a unique feature to kind of you know there are apps uh for that already so it's kind of interesting to see how this goes but yeah let me know what you guys think and then the final bit of news today is uh, from Moto teasing their new super camera that's coming out uh, in their new phone. So the new phone is uh, the Edge, or sorry, the X30 Pro, and it'll be based on the top dog that Moto has. It's supposed to have the Snapdragon uh, Gen 8 Plus, uh, sorry, 8 Plus Gen 1 uh, with 144 hertz display, OLED, 6.6 inch display. So, um, but the biggest thing that it's supposed to have, it's supposed to be the first one in the US with the 200 megapixel camera sensor from Samsung. Um, and it's very interesting to see how that will work and how good it'll be because this is a rumored camera on the S23 Ultra uh, for next year. So it, I'm very curious to see how it will be and how it will work. Uh, because obviously if this is going to be on Samsung's phone, I want to see just how good it is at taking regular photos. I'm very curious on that. Let me know what you guys think. Um, 200 megapixels is, you know, going to be big. It, it should hopefully be a bigger sensor too, so that we actually are able to take better low light photos even again with it. But, um, I think it's going to be a matter of processing as well. So we'll have to wait to see that. Um, and then also I'm very curious if they're going to do anything to the ultra wide camera on there because that's the one I really care about nowadays. I just, I really want to see how the ultra wide camera is going to be because it, it's the one that I have not seen an upgrade on in years. And I frankly think it should have been done years ago. So let me know what you guys think in the comments section. I am very curious on this camera and we'll see how it goes when Moto announces it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and get to your questions. Again, if you have any questions you want to ask, just ask in the comment section down below, and I'll answer before the end of the show. All 
All right. Good evening from Lakeland, Florida. Good evening. Um, I have a question. What's the best portable uh, power bank for phones? Ooh, um, there's a lot of good ones out there. What you mainly want to look for is a PD charger. Um, what I personally recommend, um, is one that isn't on Amazon anymore, um, but is a really, really good one. And that is Rav Powers. Um, it's really affordable. It is on Newegg, um, which for those of you who don't know, I do work for them. So of course, take that with a grain of salt. But uh, this is the one that I carry in my backpack that I've bought for people that I highly recommend when it comes to phone chargers. And then there are two other ones to consider. But for phone chargers, this is the creme de la creme. It is uh, on sale for 15 bucks right now. I didn't know it would be on sale, but it often is. Uh, this one is often discounted and I would always buy it, obviously, when on sale. I've literally bought these for multiple people and the reason why is because it has a type C charger, which can deliver 20 watts to an iPhone or 30 watts to a Samsung phone. So it really just is a fast, fast charger overall with it and you have an additional usb type a for any you know smartwatch charging you do or headphone charging you do very simple and easily um so yeah it's it's a great great charger so this is the one that i recommend i am going to send you a link it's an affiliate link uh but it's this is just the number one definite one that i would always recommend just because it's so good like it's it's just the one for a smartphone that i would always like oh yeah that's totally easily the best thing to get and hold on one second Sorry, having an issue, having the link right, but I'll send it to you right now. But yeah, this is the one that just off the top of my head is kind of like my go-to now for a little bit of a year now. It's just, it's been such a good one that I haven't had any issues with it. I've uh, bought it for people. I literally, I think I got this for like three people for a Christmas gift. So really good one to get for sure. Um, oh. And then they do have two other ones. This is a 90 watt one, which is not on sale right now, but that can do a fast charge. And then this one is one I've kind of had my eye on lately, um, just because it can be a full uh, wall outlet. So this one is a full wall outlet you can use to plug in. I think it also does have a type C as well. Yeah, so it has a type C as well, but so you have a 65 watt uh, wall plug. So it can't take like, um, you know, probably a 15 inch laptop, but if you do have an ultra book, like a 14 inch or 13.3, hey, this can charge your laptop. You can plug it in directly, no problem. It gives the example of, uh, you know, small vacuum cleaner, small fans, small printers, uh, table uh, tops, all these kind of different things you could charge with the wall outlet. Um, so it's really just, I, I love the ability to plug in a wall outlet one. So that's really cool. So this is another one that I would recommend. And then... So that is the wall outlet version so yeah those are the two that really stand out to me this one is another one um it's a 90 watt uh charge so this is going to be able to charge most 15 inch laptops 
So better off if your laptop does charge through type C, you can just plug it in directly and it is 30,000 milliamps. So it'll charge your phone, everything you need multiple times over. Uh, but that's a really big one. Uh, the weight is going to be heavier out of the three. This is the heaviest. Uh, so just know that, but this one is another one. So those are the three uh, battery banks. I just, I really love Rav Power, unfortunately. Um, their parent company, uh, Tautronics, uh, got, um, a little too cocky on Amazon. And, uh, this has happened to multiple brands like Aki and other ones. Uh, but basically what they did was, is they got caught faking reviews. Um, and when one of their brands got caught, all of their brands had to go. Um, so all through no RAV power, no, no fault of RAV power itself that that is the one that really kind of messed up for sure um let's see so this is the 90 watt version okay so yeah so those are uh the top three uh battery banks that i would recommend just because they're really good on price now this model and this one or sorry um, this one and the AC one are not on sale. Actually, I think the AC one is on sale. I think the AC one is $10 off right now. Um, so yeah, th those, I, I don't know. I always go for sales, so take it as you will. But those are the ones that really stand out for me that I have really just like, this one is my go-to one for sure for any phone. 15,000 milliamps is going to be, um, you know, three charges usually for any smartphone out there right now. And the fact that it's 15 bucks, it's fast charge, it has everything you need, it's the best one to get. All right. Will the Galaxy Watch have bezels? Um, yes, I think they're gonna have uh, a two version thing just like they did with the Galaxy Watch uh, 4. And that is the classic version, or now I think they're calling it the pro version. I think they're going away from classic and uh, the regular model. So they'll have both versions. So basically you get to choose which one you kind of want and go from there. Um, yes, the Note 7 was one Fire Phone. It was better than the Amazon Fire Phone. Ha ha ha. Um, you looked like you lost weight. I did, man. I, I lost, um, for this month, I lost 13 pounds. Uh, so for the month of June, believe it or not, though, I lost my weight loss competition. Uh, the guy who won lost 15.5 pounds. He is like almost 10 years younger than me though. So I'm accounting it to age and the ability to burn fat much quicker. No, but he did actually, the fact that I was able to keep up with him and he actually worked out pretty much every single weekday does make me feel better. Like I, I kept up with him. Uh, even with that, and I didn't work out. I, I didn't work out once throughout this entire time period. It was just eating right. It was, you know, walking, not working out, but I would say walking um, at least a little bit every day. So, like, I try to walk, like, maybe once around my office building, um, and that's a pretty good walk. It's about probably a 15-minute walk. Um, uh, 20, 15, 20, depending on how hot it is. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so I, I did lose some weight. Yeah, I lost a total of 15 pounds. Uh, so I think I'm officially... I have to check that. Let's see. I think I am somewhere between 30 and 40 pounds down since um, the end of November, beginning of December, which is when we started uh, the weight loss competition. Uh, let's see. All the way back. Oh. So... Yes, let's see, three, let, let, let's calculate my grand total. So I think at my peak, I was 313.8. 313.8 pounds was my peak. And now I am 278.3. So, oh.
Sorry, guys. Uh, it looks like my camera went out when I hit that. Plus, uh, let me see if I can... Hold on, guys. Sorry for the technical difficulties. I'm almost back. I don't know why that did that, but. I think the sensor got too hot. I think that's what happened. Uh, because it was just really hot. So it's really hot right now. Okay, I think we're back. I think we're back. Sorry about that. I don't know when it all cut out, but uh, we are back now. Um, yeah, the, the camera that I'm using overheated basically, and it's the first time that happened. Uh, maybe I need to start keeping a fan on it. I never have needed to before, but I guess it's just hotter in this house right now. Let me turn, make sure the AC is on a good setting. Uh, but yeah, it just, it overheated. So, uh, let's go down to set. Okay, turn the AC a bit higher. Uh, just make sure that the house stays cool. All right, sorry about that. I'm so sorry about that. Hopefully some of you guys are still here. Uh, I can totally understand if some people bailed. Uh, but yeah, so I lost 35.5 pounds uh, since no uh, since December, basically. It was November 30th uh, was when I weighed myself the first time. So um, yeah, I lost a pretty good amount. Uh, that's what, December, January, February, March, April, May, June... So yeah, seven months, uh, 35 pounds, about five pounds a month average hang out. Although, I mean, I just, I did not lose weight the last few months until June is when I really turned it up again. Um, and then probably going to do another weight loss in uh, August, but I want to maintain this weight. So I'm trying not to gain any weight uh, on here on out. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I still, I, I do treat myself here and there, but you know, just keep it to a minimum. All right, now let's get to this. Uh, finally traded my beloved Note 9 uh, Blue for the S22 Ultra Green. Love it, just missed the headphone jack. Totally feel you. Uh, but yeah, man, the headphone jack is just not there anymore. It sucks. Um, had to take the Fold 3 uh, to Samsung store for the screen protector replacement. Got it. Yeah, I, I've uh, honestly, I've ha had no issues when I took the Fold 3's screen protector off and just installed uh, the glass one. Um, that was an amazing experience. I know people did have difficulties though with it and issues with it. I was lucky enough not to, uh, but yeah, it's something that I just, uh, let people know about for sure. Ultra is great. I think it makes sense, uh, to have a note as part of the S, uh, line. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, how much will the Galaxy Watch Pro go for? Uh, I don't know. I honestly don't know that. I'm guessing will go around like the 400 mark, um, 350 to 400, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, also, uh, S22 uh, Ultra mag case works uh, with every wireless charger I've had. Uh, that was my biggest concern. Awesome, cool. Whoa, a whole bunch of questions just loaded. Everybody drink. All right. Um, oh, that Owl was in my house. Well, you know, 
That, that's that's not light, by the way. That's just my ring, just giving off that glow. I mean, that's all that it is. <laughs> but yeah, oh, uh, oh, mentioned the Green Lantern ring, basically. Can you scooch over a bit trying to see the background? The background's not ready yet. When it's ready, I'll show you guys. But it's not ready yet. It's It looks mostly done, but it's not done. I still have to finish that up. Uh, it's still not done at the bottom. And yeah, the, there, there's supposed to be a light strip going across there. And the light strip freaked out on me before the show, so I just unplugged it. Um, but yeah, it will be cooler as, as time goes on. Um, but yes, what else? Um, yes, charger's awesome. So thanks again, Ricky. No problem, man. I'm glad you still like the charger. Um, how can Samsung earbuds senses when you take them out of your ears and pause for music and video? You mean, do they, or how can they? I mean, it's a sensor that basically just detects if something's next to it. If you cover the sensor, it's the same thing. It's all that it is. Um, but, uh, in terms of how can they, uh, they should be, uh, you can set that up in the app, the galaxy wearable app. Any Samsung power bank is good. Um, yeah, for Samsung power banks, uh, we'll go back to Amazon. And take a look at them. Um, See, this is like, I feel like the go-to Samsung power bank for the most part, this one, uh, because it has a charger and a wireless charger and it can even wirelessly charge your watch. So really good for that. Um, but in terms of, yeah, see, this was the one that I used to have um, and I've given away a couple, but Samsung, let me say official. Man, Amazon doesn't actually have that many of them. Maybe Best Buy or Samsung Direct actually might be a better choice. But this was the one I was thinking of when I think of Samsung. But, I mean, $45, like, it's expensive. Like, I would definitely wait till this goes on sale. Um, let's see. Has this one had any price changes? That was temporarily out of stock. Um, yeah, maybe they just don't have any on Amazon right now. Maybe they're about to change them out. Could very well be. Um, here's the Type-C one from Samsung. It has a 5,000 milliamp uh, battery pack. So that's about a little over one phone charge for 18 bucks. Not bad, but I mean, you can see why I recommended the one I did, right? The RAV Power one that I just recommended is 15,000 milliamps and it fast charges um so yeah i would personally go with the that one that i recommended earlier but this one isn't bad it's just uh, i don't know if they're gonna go through a refresh maybe but they're just not as standing out now the reason why you'd want a samsung charger is because other chargers will probably show as um uh, fast, fast charge, but not super fast charge. However, it doesn't, I don't know if any of these can super fast charge because it only says you can go up to 15 Watts. So that's not super fast charge. So I, I think you are better off going with the RAV. So not right now. I wouldn't recommend a Samsung one. This is usually the one I'd recommend, but just wait till it would go on sale. Uh, it's definitely not worth more than, um, 30 bucks. I would say. All right, let's see what else we have here. Hoping that the Galaxy Watch 5 has a two day battery life like the old ones. I hope so too, man. I mean, Wear OS, great for what it offers, right? But definitely not the best in terms of just battery life. I mean, battery life, it's one day. That's it. You can't get more than that. 
Note 7 was sick. I was sad when I had to return mine. I was so sad when I had to return mine. I, I had the Note 7 on my honeymoon. I literally, when we were getting in the airport from Europe in London, that is when they announced that you could no longer fly with it out of the US. Europe did not have that law yet. And therefore I was able to fly with my Note 7 over back to the US um, without any issue. Uh, but I was like, I freaked out when I saw that. Cause I saw that in the airport that they had just banned it from being taken into airport uh, airplanes but from the U S and UK didn't do anything at that point, at least. Um, so yeah, it was like a, holy, like, I didn't even know what I was going to do. I, I needed to get on the flight. Right. So it was a, Oh my God moment. And not to mention all of my footage from my honeymoon was taken with this phone. So, uh, like I didn't want to lose it. I mean, it was backed up to Google photos by then, I suppose, but you know, you just, it, it was a very like, Oh God, what, what's about to happen? So yeah, I remember I, I remember that Note Seven thing for that specific reason. Um, also, anyone else uh, have fireworks going on near them? I do. I have fireworks going on down there. I could see not as much as my old neighborhood. So this neighborhood doesn't have as many fireworks as before. But so yeah. Um, technical difficulty. The screen says device is not available. I'm scared of the dark. Please come back. <laughs> This turned into an ASMR stream now. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys for everyone that hung in there with me. Whoa, a whole bunch of questions loaded. Everybody drink. Ricky's just hot. Uh, Rigsby overheats. Uh, I'm still here. Um, we're still here rocking with the R-I-C-K-Y. Thank you so much, Daniel. Appreciate that. Uh, on your diet, uh, do you stop eating complete meals, dinner after a certain time? I hear people doing the stop eating around six or seven. Uh, so it doesn't really matter actually for you to stop eating. Um, it, it doesn't really matter a certain time. Um, what is more important is that your digestive system is regular. So that that's more so. So if you eat, hopefully you can use, I mean, not to get like disgusting or anything like that, but hopefully you'll use the restroom before going to sleep. That's the idea more so is that, um, that you want to kind of, uh, flush your body before, because if it stays in all night and you go, you know, you, you get that itis right after you eat and you're all, Oh, I'm just going to go right to bed. Then you didn't, you didn't let the process finish. So that's more of the thing of like, it doesn't matter if you eat late, like your body doesn't care or anything like that, uh, or fat, uh, is going to build up regardless, um, one way or another. But it is true that if your if your digestive tract is basically going more easily than if you go and finish the digestive system before using before going to sleep, that's more important. And if you eat too late and go right to bed, you interrupt that system. So that's more of the uh, thought process behind the whole the or the actual medical uh, side of the whole 6 p.m. 7 p.m. I know a lot of people say that like, Oh, if you don't eat too late, like that's actually why not just like, Oh, because your body changes depending on what it does. And no, it just, it wants you to complete the cycle essentially. Um, so yeah, that's the idea behind it. Uh, did I eat complete meals? I ate smaller portions. So I, I think most of you guys know last year, I had considered doing the, the gastric bypass, right? So like getting surgery that would essentially make my stomach smaller. I think I was going for the sleeve for the most part. And the whole idea behind that process is for you to eat small meals. Um, and I just froze. Oh my God, it overheated again. What the heck? Hold on, this time I think I can fix it real quick. <laughs> Apparently I can't talk about weight loss because that's just, you know, what keeps getting it. Um, wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right. All right. Hopefully now I know what the problem is, so hopefully I can get re get it. I don't know why this is so hot today. I guess I did leave it on a little bit longer than I normally do. Um, but yeah. 
So I'm just going to talk a little bit, and we will just, uh, I'm going to literally put this in front of a fan for a minute. And we'll just have this uh, view for a second. Um, I'm trying to remember what I was talking about, though. Oh, so eating the complete meal. So basically, I was going to get this gastric bypass thing, right? And the problem that I ran into, or the, what I realized was like, well, why don't I just eat smaller meals in general, which is very difficult to do, changing your habits. And, you know, then hopefully I'll lose weight. And I did. I, I just I ate smaller meals. Um, the first two months I did exercise. I, I basically jogged or slash ran um, about four times out of the week. So, I, you know, I, I made sure to do that kind of a good amount. And yeah, that was basically what I had to do to really lose the weight. And so those two things, uh, but um, February and June were the last two months that I lost over 10 pounds and those I did not exercise at all. I just, you know, made sure that I was eating smaller portion meals. I usually eat two meals um, and that was kind of it. But yeah, it's, it's really the, those two things really are the main things, but yeah. All right, now the next one is, uh, let's see. Samsung.com is a good source. Yeah, Samsung.com uh, will probably have more battery packs. Um, hey, maybe I could still show you guys that to see if Samsung has any battery packs on sale on their website. Let's go ahead and check that out. All right. Oh my God, all these freaking pop-ups. Okay, so let's see if we can find any mobile accessories. Here's the thing, when th this is such a weird thing, like you can't even see phones when it's on there. There you go. All right, let's go mobile accessories. Let's go for phone accessories. And let's see newest. Hey, they have a new car charger here, guys. We'll check out that one in a second. I am down for a new car charger. Samsung does make their own screen protectors now as well. Let's see if we got any wireless chargers or battery packs. Let's just, let's just go to chargers. So we have this one's 20,000. This is a new one. Um, and then, but yeah, so the, these are the other ones. See, I don't know why. I mean, I get it's a wireless charger built in, but I mean, it shouldn't be this much. So yeah, that, that's, I would still stand by what I said earlier, which is just, you know, maybe not going with the Samsung one for now, but let's go ahead and check out this car charger. So this is a 25 watt max, which is really good. That means it'll super fast charge your Samsung smartphone, which I do like, not gonna lie. And yeah, I'm gonna pick this one up and I'm back. Guess who's back, back again. Why am I cut off? I'm zoomed. I'm still like so zoomed in. There we go. All right. So yeah, um, I would recommend this to you guys. I will share this link with you guys if you want one. But that's a cool charger. Whoa. Why am I so zoomed in? Okay. There we go. There we go. All right. Um, 
but yes, I'm back again. Uh, cooled it down with the fan this time, so it is. it does feel cooler now. So hopefully that will be all that we needed. But let's go ahead and see what else you guys have to ask. Have you heard of a brand named Love Sex? <laughs> it's sellable, customizable furniture. Recently saw a commercial Harman Kardon speakers and wireless charger. Uh, so I've heard of them as making like bean bags, but I've never heard of them other than that. So very curious to see. Hold on first. Let me send you guys this link. Samsung car charger. I'm definitely going to pick that one up because I am always down for faster charging in my car. All right. Um, so let's see. Love sack. Now I have to make sure this is a proper search, obviously, because I feel like that can get you in trouble too. Okay. Oh, you know, I have heard of this. I have seen this company before. Um, and yeah, I, I, I went a more of a home theater route, but I, I do like this, uh, kind of technology. I, I really, I think it's very innovative and yeah, basically like they have, so this is what I knew them as like high quality bean bags. But recently they had these like sectionals you can kind of develop and everything. And the cool part about them is they had like built in speakers into them uh, that you can actually feel with your kind of, you know, kind of like having a surround sound within it, which is kind of cool. Um, and even wireless charging in them. So I am always down for this kind of stuff. Like I, I think like all these kind of things are great to have. Um, it's expensive. It's not, it's not fairly inexpensive. I mean, you talk about a three seat couch for 5,700, that's pretty expensive. And then if you want to like, you know, this, this is like how I have my setup where I, I have two reclinables on each side, that's 6,900. So it's, it's more expensive than my current setup, which is pretty pricey as is. Uh, but I, I like, I like this idea that you can like have a bed or kind of like everyone sleep together kind of thing for $11,000. You might need to after spending that kind of money, but uh, I love the technology. It's really cool. It's just, obviously they just kind of came up with this technology. So it's really cool to have that kind of stuff in there, but you can believe you're playing, you're going to be paying a premium for it right now. Kind of like 4d at home. If, if anyone's ever been to a 4d theater, like it rumbles, the sh it rumbles the chairs. So that's what kind of what it reminds me of, but at home. Um, let's see. Um, awesome job, Riggy, with the diet. Thank you. Although I think I can't talk about the diet anymore. Every time I do it, it overheats. <laughs> Sorry, uh, you covered during quick break, lol. Will Apple be able to go portless in the EU ruling? Yes, it can actually go portless in the EU ruling, but I don't think it will. I think it's just wireless charging isn't where it needs to be yet for them to do it. And if it does develop, then they will. Uh, but until they do, it won't. But would Apple rather se sell you a MagSafe wireless charger than a Type-C cable? Oh, yeah. And they'll do it as soon as they can. Uh, but it, it probably it just can't get to it, it looks like. Well, a bunch of questions. Everybody drink. I just finished mine. Um, let's see. Did you watch uh, the pay-per-view last night? Uh, I did. I um, did. Liked the women's match, uh, loved the cash in. I thought that was really cool. Um, not really too happy with the whole men's, uh, one, uh, money in the bank, but it is what it is. Fine. I'm, I'm fine. Theory can, you know, hold it. it. It's better when a heel holds it, but I just, I thought Seth would have been so perfect. But yeah, that's my thoughts on it. Um, oh no, the stream can't handle the prospect of Ricky and Rigsby abs. Oh man, if I could ever get abs, dude, that would be insane. Um, my wife had uh, Ro Roxy surgery 12 years ago. It worked very well for her. Oh, I, the bypass surgery, I think it, 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 it said something else, but yeah, I, I think I know what you meant. Now you can get this stream on Spotify without losing the visuals. <laughs> there you go. 
Uh, will Samsung let you trade a watch uh, even if you didn't pay, finish paying for it yet? I don't know. I don't know that. I don't know Samsung's policy when it comes to that. I don't think the two are connected, to be quite honest. Like, I think if you trade in a watch, it doesn't, like, you can continue paying off the old one while you traded in, while you've already traded in the product. So if I'm making payments on this, right, T-Mobile doesn't actually care if I keep it. I can sell it to someone uh, as long as I keep making the payments. So, yeah, that's the idea behind it. Um, best is to eat every two to two point five to three hours, small meals and snacks, obviously. Yeah, and and it, everyone's metabolism is different. Like for me, I actually didn't do well with the with the small meals like every so often. Um, and for me, I do okay if I eat three meals as long as they're smaller. But for me, the for weight loss without exercising as much as like you know actually physically really exercise anything um oh rux and why that's what it's called it's called rux and why. i i didn't know that um uh but basically so for me eating two meals typically a day is what kind of really was perfect and again just not overeating or anything like that like every once in a while Row and Y, row and Y, thank you. Rue and Y, Rue and Y or row, 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 row. Um, Sorry, I was trying to, still trying to get the pronunciation of the surgery. Um, but what was I saying? Oh, that uh, for me, the eating meals, like for me eating two meals is pretty much where I'm good at. And sometimes I'll have like a cheeseburger, right? Cheeseburger, but no fries, no soda. I, I rarely have soda. The, the main time I'll have soda now is like when I go to the movie theaters. And that is the one time when I have popcorn too. Uh, so yeah, popcorn is probably the most dangerous thing for me because I can literally eat a bucket of popcorn like by myself still. And I did that um, when I went to go see, uh, what was the movie that came out this past week? Uh, Minions uh, with my daughter. And I ate the whole thing and my stomach was like, dude, what the hell like it just it 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 really hurt it really like my stomach hurt for a day and a half couldn't do anything basically clogged everything up i was just like oh my stomach hurts so much why'd i do this not to say i probably won't do the same for thor love and thunder this weekend uh but still uh, like it's just it's something that popcorn is bad for me and i shouldn't eat it but it's so good Especially movie theater popcorn, man. It's just, it's, it's, that is one Achilles heel for me. Ugh. Um, how much watts can your ultra get? Uh, it can get up to 45 watts. Um, so yeah, that's how, that's how much, uh, watts your ultra can get. But super fast charging starts at 25 watts. 45 is really only, I think it was a total of a 15 minute faster, like total. So I think, uh, like, 25 will charge your phone in about um, an hour um, or 50, 55 minutes. But if you do the 45 watt charge, it should be in about uh, 45 minutes. Um, here's a question. How long will link uh, to 50 first date questions be available on? I, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's go ahead and do my shameless plug for the week, which is 50 first date questions. It is an app that I created, uh, fun uh, for a date night. You just go ahead and ask them a question. They ask you a question, you find out more about each other. You find out more what's on the other's mind, find out if you're compatible and find out if you should be together for the rest of your life. This will tell you all of that. All you have to do is download it and play it and see what happens. Let me know. Thank you. 50 first date questions is available on Android and iOS. iOS for now, because they are making some changes. So it might not be there for long. All right. <laughs> Ricky needs a water cooled webcam. That is hilarious and honestly not wrong. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Um, that name could get you in trouble. What did I. For that price, you'll be sleeping outside. Yeah, right. Um, 
for that price, three months of rent, you can get a Bluetooth and you put in your, just get a Bluetooth speaker, put it in your couch, right? Um, are the top five deals of the week, Newegg, still effective currently? Yes, actually, uh, Quiet Storm. So, yeah, uh, for those of you who haven't seen it, I am doing um, top five deals of the week uh, at Newegg on their TikTok and now on YouTube Shorts as well. Uh, so if you do subscribe to Newegg Studios on YouTube or Newegg on TikTok, uh, you'll actually see my top five deals of the week there. Um, they have uh, Gigabyte and uh, MSI on sale and tom or not tomorrow uh yeah tomorrow actually tomorrow or tomorrow will kick off a new sale and then another and then um i'll do the top five deals on tuesday uh when i get back into the office so yeah that the, uh there will be more top five deals for new egg uh basically if you want to get graphics cards or gaming monitor um or motherboards uh right now is the time to get it for sure i'll also be live streaming on uh new egg on tuesday at 2 p.m uh you just have to download their app and then it's a uh, new egg live um so yeah uh download it and i'll see you guys there with um i think we're gonna have like five or six uh deals that are only good for like that one hour I can eat, but I can't gain weight. Hey, man, that's a whole another problem. Like, gaining weight is something that I never had an unfortunate uh, hard time doing. But I definitely know that, yes, uh, a few skinnier friends of mine that just they can't put on muscle, they can't put on weight. Uh, it's just their metabolism is so fast. And that's why not everything works for everyone because everyone has a different metabolism. I've been good about my diet except Saturdays. Saturdays, I go to my friend's house and go to a Mexican place where I can eat a full plate of nachos. See, but if you try to, you know, eat, portion those nachos out, like that's really what I do um, with, uh, like, say on a standard work week, I'll have a bowl from Chipotle and that full bowl will be my lunch and my dinner. Now I do order double meat. So I ordered either double chicken or chicken and steak, uh, but that will be my full meal, like period throughout the day. So I'll eat half of it for lunch and then I'll eat half of it for dinner. And that's it. That That's like, that. that's my full meal uh, for the day. So yeah, I mean, you know, that that's part of losing weight is is making those certain sacrifices. But I will say like, it is no greater feeling like I, I felt um, on like the 1st of July when I like, I stood up straight, I hugged my wife and she was like, wow. Like, you know, you can definitely tell like, cause I get taller when I lose weight, it feels like because of, my standing up straight uh feels like extra tall or i don't know what it is about it but so so she was like it was just it was really nice like getting that so yeah uh and yes nachos are delicious man um will we see cameras on a smartwatch like the first generation gear not anytime soon i think we're gonna see uh cameras on on smart glasses before we see them on a smartwatch again Uh, ooh, and a frozen margarita. Nice. Um, I have already, uh, cooked, uh, for fourth. We've been eating the barbecue for a while already. Nice, man. Oh, so, oh, maybe I'm going to get barbecue tomorrow. That sounds so good. I am not going, I don't have like a place to go to for barbecue, uh, right now. Um, but because I just, I still need to, I need to finish the studio. I really do. Um, I do portion out the nachos. I have two meals, get some, my friend. There you go. That's the way to do it. Everyone at Quiet's house next year. Yeah. Why we're going to all get some barbecue, man. I'm, I'm a big fan of barbecue. So yeah. Uh, mac and cheese is another one of my, uh, just like a good mac and cheese. They're, they're hard to find. Uh, like in LA, I literally know the top four mac and cheese places. Uh, one of them is famous, Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. Uh, they have really good quality mac and cheese. Another one, Baby Blues, uh, that's in Venice. If you ever, you know, if you heard of Venice Beach in uh, Los Angeles, in Venice, Baby Blues, um, 
Baby Blue something. I forget what it's called. But that one's good, too. Yeah, mac and cheese, man. That's, oh, mac and cheese. When it hits, it's so good. Um, teching, <laughs> te Teaching out the grill. Teching out the grill, man. Tech out the grill. Um, they do make some smart grills, but I just have never gotten into those. All right, guys. I think with all the with all the issues we had today with everything, I think we will call that a show. Fireworks are starting at uh, around the house too, so it's about time for me to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do always appreciate it. Make sure you click that like thumbs up before you leave. It really does help me out. And yeah, there'll be some fun stuff coming soon this week, guys. Thank you as always for watching again. This has been RCKY, the YouTube Tech Guy.